We want to evaluate the given definite integral. To do this, we'll first find the antiderivative function using the integration formula here. Then once we find the antiderivative function, we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus stated here to determine the value of the def integral. Where if big F of x is the antiderivative function, then big F of b, where b is the upper limit of integration, minus big F of a, where a is the lower limit of integration, is equal to the definite integral. So we have the definite integral from two to five of one divided by x squared dx. Before we apply the power rule of integration, though, we will have to change the form of our function. We need this to be in the form of x raised to the power of n. So we're going to move this up to the numerator of the fraction, which will change the sign of the exponent. So this is equal to the def integral from two to five of x to the power of negative two dx. And now we need to be careful when applying our integration rule. This is going to be x raised to the power of negative two plus one, that's negative one divided by negative one. And now we need to evaluate this at the upper and lower limits of integration, which are five and two. But let's go ahead and simplify this first. Notice how this fraction is negative. If we move this back down to the denominator, we can write this as just negative one divided by x. So now we'll first evaluate this at five and then at two. So when x is five, we would have negative one-fifth and then minus when x is two, we would have negative one-half. So this would be negative one-fifth plus one-half. Well, to add these two fractions, we have to obtain a common denominator, which would be 10. We'll multiply this first fraction by two over two, second fraction by five over five. So we have negative two-tenths plus five-tenths, which would be three-tenths which is the value of the definite integral. Now I also provided the graph of our integrand f of x equals one divided by x squared because notice on the interval from two to five or from here to here, the function is non-negative, which means the area below the function and above the x-axis would be equal to the given def integral, which is three-tenths, which means the area of the shaded region would be three-tenths of a square unit. I hope you found this explanation helpful.